few days ago, I got this email from Perplexity saying that the Perplexity for Mac is now available. And this app promises to have voice-to-voice -voice interactions, native file uploads, lightning fast shortcuts at your fingertips. So Command-Shift-P to ask Perplexity and we're making updates quickly, so be sure to keep your app up to date. And yeah, what I want to do is actually install this app and see what's happening with it and whether it lives up to the expectations set. So I just downloaded it here from the App Store. And as you can see, this is how it starts off. So there's some, I guess, cool sounding music, quick tutorial. There when ready, so you can launch it on startup as well. Answers at your fingertips, so you can start a new thread. With the shortcut, you can go into voice mode, file upload, and the voice dictation, which seems pretty cool. Okay, let's hit let's go. Explore shortcuts. Okay, so let's try these. So let's close that, close that. Let's close that as well. And yeah, so if I press the new thread, that works. So what can I do and welcome in winter? Hit enter. And something went wrong. Let's try again. Okay, and that works now. So just after that first glitch, it seems to be working. So let's start, try dictation mode, which was the same, but D instead of P. Okay, I need to give it some permissions, I guess. Allow, allow. I think that is interfering with the shortcut for Loom. Yeah. So it is working, but it's also, yeah. So what can I do in Malta in winter if I'm adventurous? So I get the sources up there, similar to what you get in the normal web version. Okay, that's pretty cool. And ask follow-ups, what are the best hiking trails in Malta during winter? Okay, pretty cool. And there's also the file upload, which is command shift U. So now I apparently need to sign in in order to use the upload. Yep. So it's great that I can also use this on the free version of project actually signing in, I guess. Let me just sign in. So now after I have signed in, if I try this again, it will ask me to pay the monthly or the yearly fee in order to use file uploads, which I think is the same thing as um, what is available in the web version. So from the initial tests, this looks like it is working well. It's a quick handy tool that might go along with, for example, um, ChatGPT, if you have the Mac version for that, or if you are a fan of perplexity, then it's just pressing the buttons or the shortcut keys, and you just get that immediately on your desktop. There's the Pro version as well. There's the dictation available, which is great. And yeah, I think it's a handy little app if you're a fan of perplexity and you tend to use it in your day-to-day -day kind of operation. So definitely check it out. It's available for download right now from the Mac store, from the Apple store. So yeah, hope you found this video useful. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to not miss any of the future ones. I'll speak to you soon.